Many of you, like me, grew up looking at the little books, Car Craft and Rod and Custom and all those great magazines that had those customs from out of the 60s. Well, this 62 Econo line is really making a hit because it just captures all that. Uh, Trevor, you built the car, correct? Yeah. And Luke, you own the car and your brothers? Yeah, we yeah, both worked right. on it. Yep. Okay, well, Part tell us it. how did this come around and, and what made you decide that um, doing something so traditional was the way to go? For me, I just told him that I wanted to do an Econoline truck and it was just talk and then he found it. I bought it and just decided to do something completely different than what you normally see, so that's how it started. Yeah, I know you've built other cars, and uh, was this because you, you went with the, the 60s sort of uh, car show? Uh, you know, I, I can see angel hair around this thing. Yeah, that's what I kind of wanted to do. Uh -huh. Traditional 60s uh, custom, something different. A lot of guys do the gassers out of them or, you know, make race cars out of them and stuff. I just wanted to, you know, the truck's so kind of bizarre anyway. Uh -huh. I wanted to kind of do something different you, you don't see every day. This sort of design was so popular and you know the, the way the paint fades and the metal flake and all that and then it fell out of favor and it just wasn't cool anymore and all of a sudden what about five years ago this kind of stuff started appearing again and now I watched people's reaction to this thing at car shows they love it why do you think it, it changed what what happened like I say it's kind of unusual you know it pulls people in maybe people are tired of seeing the same stuff you know and but yeah I don't know it just do you think it's Try a little... We didn't know how it was going to go, but... Yeah, I wonder if it's a little bit of the uh, the rat rod or traditional, yeah. not this, this isn't either, yeah. but uh, that crowd appreciates the old style of custom, right. so yeah. kind of brought it back. What's the running gear on it? Stock straight six motor, it's a 170. And that's sufficient? Yep. Okay, and no no high performance, no special rear end? No, nothing. just a cruiser. Uh-huh. This, yeah, this goes on looks alone, I guess. So. When this body style came on of trucks, when the Corvans uh, uh, came out and, and the Econo lines and, and the truck form of these things, I thought that the whole truck industry was going to just sweepingly, because it just makes so much sense this way. Why do you think it didn't happen? I mean, they were around for a while and went away. For me, I, I don't know, probably because they're, they're so unique and they're just not that eye-catching to the normal person uh, to, to want as a, a vehicle that they drive all the time. So. Uh -huh. Trevor, what do you think? Uh, my guess, safety. Uh -huh. uh, with nothing up front there. I, nothing. Uh, that's, there's a sheet of 18-gauge steel yeah. in front of you. Between you and whatever's yeah. hitting you. Anything will bounce yeah. off. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you would think they would have caught on more because, I mean, it gets good gas mileage and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and you can haul stuff in them. Yeah, but, the beds on them but, are great. Yeah, I don't know. That's bigger. Mm -hmm. What's your advice for somebody that's thinking about uh, doing a car that's a real throwback to the 60s style of custom? Just go through the little pages like mm -hmm. you were talking about, you know, and that's kind of, we flipped through some, looked at old pictures, and it's probably the best way to do it, you know. And, the way, do them the way they were done. All right. Well, you guys did a great job. It's a beautiful truck. Um, nice. And it's good to see a couple of young guys and, and out there uh, turning heads and, and getting respect for the, the, the young end of the hobby and the, the cool cars. So thanks a lot for being on the Vintage Vehicle Show. Thank you. Thank you. All right.